and welcome. I'm Jade of Jaded Reader, and today we're doing things a little bit differently. I have Belle here, which is short for Bella. Happens to be friend in Elvish. Belle is one of our two kitties, and a long time ago I had sorted our other kitty, Ima, into her Hogwarts house. Belle wasn't sorted because soon after that we had to take her to the vet. She was having a lot of health issues, and it turns out that she has some sort of intestinal disease and irritable bowel disorder, so she got really thin. We weren't sure if uh, she was going to make it. I didn't really want her on film because she looked really unhealthy and I didn't want to worry people. But due to lots of vet visits, um, lots of hard work on her part, getting tons of shots and a surgery, we have been able to get her on a special diet where she eats pretty much premium venison and is on steroids. While we don't know how long we have her, we're very happy to have her. She's a very different cat than Ima. I will leave Ima's sorting video up above. Belle is really energetic. She loves to play, but she also loves to cuddle. She loves car rides. She has to be wild and free with the window down. So I will be sorting Belle first and then you guys actually voted on Twitter to have me sort myself. I'm very proudly a Gryffindor. I've never gotten anything but. However, everyone is freaking out because this new sorting hat quiz apparently is ruining everything. <laughs> I decided to be daring and be brave and take it again. It won't change my opinion whatsoever. I know which house I'm in but I am curious to see if it has any idea what it's doing. So I have a screen recorder on my phone and I will go ahead and take Belle's quiz first. This new sorting hat look is quite interesting. I don't know, edgy? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a lot of words. Oh, it has music. And again, this was one of my old accounts, so it is on Gryffindor right now. You are next in line. What? What is happening here? I guess I had to update? That's fine. Okay, well, apparently I have to wait for it to update even though I just downloaded the app. I don't know why that didn't already happen. Um, so I guess I'll just wait for this app to download then. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Seriously? I actually know this sorting hat. This is from the fourth book. I know the sorting hat rhyme by heart. And it didn't make the movies, so I'm actually kind of excited that it has this. Selfie mode? Oh, so I'll go grab Belle again. Maybe she can be part of the selfie. Oh, it knows. It knows Belle's not a human. Gotta be quicker than the... Forest or river? Belle is many adventurous things, but she's definitely not a river cat. Belle is more apt to go into the forest than anything else. So, forest. Oh, does it let me? Um, it's not, yeah, it's forest. I'm tapping to confirm. Yes, okay, she's leaving. I'm tapping on the forest. What is this? What is happening here? This is one of eight. No, forest! Are you? kidding me right now? Okay, hopefully it chose forest. I don't- <laughs> This is already annoying. Given the choice, would you rather invent a potion that would guarantee you love, glory, wisdom, power? Belle absolutely loves love, but she loves getting love naturally, I feel like, so I feel like she would go with a glory potion. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try and open? The small tortoiseshell box, embellished with gold inside, which some small creature seems to be squeaking. I think that would be very compelling to Belle. The gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. I don't think Belle would care. Ornate golden casket, standing on clawed feet whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation wait inside. Belle is still just gonna be focused on the box that's making noise and won't care that there's temptation. No, 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 I'm not choosing it. I just wanna look. The small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Belle absolutely loves boxes, but one of her favorite things is her really big box that we leave out for her. She likes to go in and out of it and she scratches around in there. So I'm gonna go with this one because it sounds like a small creature is squeaking inside. And I just feel like that would be like the best thing in the world for her. So this is the one I'm going with. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. I can see Belle finding that useful. She likes to be wherever we are. 
are transfiguration, turning one object into another. I don't know if I can think of a use that she would have for that. Flying on a broomstick. Okay, this kind of does work for me because I'm thinking of how much she loves to go on drives and how she likes to feel the wind. So this is a very strong possibility. Hexes and jinxes, she couldn't hurt a fly. She's not even good at hunting, really. She just likes the glory of the chase. She doesn't know what to do when she catches Ima. All about magical creatures and how to befriend and care for them. That is another strong possibility. Belle is friend to all. I can just see that happening. Secrets about the castle. Nah, every area of magic I can. I don't think that's Belle. Belle's pretty happy to just do things that she likes. Kind of leaning towards this one just because she is literally a friend to all. Everyone always feels so special when she is around them because she will love against them. She'll give them extra attention if she thinks that they're new. This is it. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, I like how this is turning, people, ghosts, possibly, vampires, werewolves, trolls. I guess ghosts, I think she would be most interesting, ghosts, because they float around the room and she would be able to talk to them and make friends with them. I don't know, that's the best thing I can come up with here. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charms. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you aside and after his lesson asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate prepares to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Hmm. Okay, so in this case, I'm thinking of Belle and how she deals with Ima's misbehavior. Ima is always trying to eat Belle food and she often will just watch it happen and then clean Ima up after. If Ima doesn't cover her poop, Belle will. So I'm looking for an answer in which Belle kind of just lets the student get away with it because that's what she would do. I guess it would be lie and say you don't know. Like I said, she covers up the poop. If you were to attend Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? We have cats, toads, or owls. Belle has always been a very good friend with other cats, even when they are not kind to her. So I'm going with cats. Oh, now we're choosing cats. Very interesting origami to cat. Black cat, white cat. Belle's best friend in the world was Oki, our older kitty. She was about 22 years old and passed away. Absolutely loved each other, so I feel like Belle would choose a Siamese. Left or right? Uh-oh. I'm going to put the treat in one hand, and she is going to choose left or right. Where's the treat, Belly? Right or left? Okay, you chose wrong, but... Oh, well that's real sweet. Your treat is here, though. Thank you. She chose left. Oh, it's one of these again. Left. The Sorin Hat is ready to make a decision. Hold up your phone and tap below to begin. It's okay, Belly. It's just a hat. She looks terrified. <laughs> Ravenclaw. This app is real glitchy, I'm not gonna lie. So Belle, aka Belloc, has been sorted into Ravenclaw. I've always found Belle to be quite the Hufflepuff, so tell me what you think. I know my boyfriend, who is primarily Belle's owner, will absolutely love this because he is a Ravenclaw. I still think she's a Hufflepuff, but I mean, she's not a Slytherin, so we have beat the curse of all cats being Slytherins because that is something Belle is not. Okay, I have made a new account. It says Jaded Reader. Discover your house. Having me re-log in. This is a real glitchy website for like the most highly sold book besides the Bible. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so gonna just go to Google. Let's do this all over again. Okay, Jaded Reader, discover your house. Start the ceremony. Okay, this is the new hat, so I think it is going to let me do the new quiz on the website. I am always going to choose the forest. It's most interesting to me. Which road tempts you the most? The twisting leaf strewn path through woods. I don't know when this cut off. I've chosen a forest over a river, and I have chosen a forest over a dark alleyway or a light lit cobblestone street. So I'm now going to be choosing which animal I'd pick, a cat, a toad, or an owl. As much as I love my cats and love cats in general, I think these are my last cats. I really can't picture any cats after Ima and Belle. Like I have had my entire life having cats, and these are my last ones.
for several different reasons. I'm not picking cats. I have no real interest in a toad at all. Uh, so I'm going to go with an owl because an owl just sounds like really awesome. Barn owls are beautiful. I read the Guardians of Galhul books when I was growing up and I fell in love with barn owls. I was like, this is my jam. Pawnee owls, looking, looking kind of weird, don't know. Snowy owl, very majestic, but I'm not sure if it's my taste. Screech owl, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. These are interesting designs. I'm not sure if I like them, but they are interesting. Brown owl, robust. I think I'm going to have to go with the barn owl. I had the strongest reaction to the barn owl, so I'm sticking with the barn owl. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Piano, the drum, the violin, the trumpet. I would have chosen the guitar, so I'm gonna go with the piano. Both my boyfriend and my little sister play piano beautifully. I have the fire lit upstairs, and I'm reading a book, and they're playing piano softly, and I'm like, yeah, this is the life. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant is definitely something I would hate to be called, but I also know that in some areas I do have ignorance, and so I would want to be told if I was ignorant. Oof, I don't know. Selfish? No, that sounds horrible. Don't like that. Ordinary? Okay, well, I'm also an Aquarius, so that's not an option. Cowardly. I'm not going to choose cowardly. I would hate to be called selfish. Like, if I'm being called selfish, there's a reason why, and I really don't like that. That means that I've hurt somebody. I would hate to be called selfish because, like, I'm hurting someone else versus someone else hurting me. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club? A nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Student records going back 1,000 years. Nope, not saving those. A mysterious handwritten book full of strange runes. Whoa, whoa. Pardon me. What just happened? It just started moving things around. Reorder items. I didn't click on anything. I hate this website, actually. That's what I've come to learn. I hate the Pottermore website. It is glitchy, it is not very responsive, and it's definitely not intuitive. No matter what house I'm in, I don't care for this website. I don't know how terrible Dragon Pox is, but sounds like it might be terrible. If it's like Chicken Pox, then I'm like, the book might have important runes leading to diseases and I can help cure them, but dragon pox sounds more severe. I'm gonna keep dragon pox in first. How do I? I need the student records to be at the end. Okay. Well, uh, reorder. Okay. What is that? Are these the student records? It doesn't let me read the last one. No, reorder. Gonna be first. Student records. Last. Mysterious book. Second. Yes. Confirm. Ugh. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people? Maybe. Centaurs. I don't know. I got a weird thing with centaurs. Like, they kind of creep me out a little bit. Werewolves? Chill. Could be interesting. Vampires? Goblins? Trolls? Ghosts. I'm gonna study ghosts. So I'm going with ghosts. I think I said that three times. I will cut one of those three out. Left or right? I am right handed. I am gonna go with right. Um, it just brought me back to the home screen. Discover your house. What? Are you kidding me? It just brought me right back. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna do this really fast because I've already explained all this. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna do this on my phone really fast. I'm just gonna be annoyed the whole time. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I need to choose a house. What? It's having me do the same update that I did on the same app. What? Who created this? I'm like, so annoyed. Names are still well known. This app is so glitchy. Okay. Now it's asking me completely different questions. So, four goblets are placed before you. Which one would you choose to drink? Smooth, thick, rich purple drink that gives off delicious smells of chocolate and plum. That sounds amazing. I would actually drink that. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Hello? Mm. Apparition and disapparition. I like to travel and that sounds incredibly useful. Which of the following would you most like to study? I chose ghosts. <sighs> Which nightmare would frighten you the most? Oh, great, is there one with dinosaurs? Standing on top of something very high and realizing suddenly that there are no hand or footholds nor any barriers to stop you from falling. Yeah, even that picture kind of sucks. Okay, that one is a contender. All right, I'm gonna go with my friends and family not knowing who I am. That sounds absolutely horrible. The app just crashed. Why? Why is this happening to me? Am I not meant to be sorted into a different Hogwarts house? Is this a sign? Am I looking for signs? Possibly. Are signs being given to me? Definitely. I'm not even gonna read these out to you guys. I have the screen recorder on. You're gonna watch me do this real quick. Resume sorting ceremony. It's making me do the update again.
Is it gonna make me start all over? I'm just continuing. I don't need another selfie of myself with this stupid hat. Let us begin. I'm just going to, I'm just gonna do these really quick. You have the screen recorder on. Enjoy knowing what I'm doing really quickly off to the side. I swear to God, if you're not Gryffindor, I'm going to throw you across the room. No, this is not. No, no. Well, it also crashed again. So, uh, f the Harry Potter Pottermore app and the Wizarding World app and the stupid website and uh, fuck this video. <laughs> this was a mess. So I'm done here and I hope you're enjoying the sun or more stars wherever you are. Until next time, bye. Being forced to speak in a silly voice that hardly anyone can understand and everyone laughs at you. That's already my life. The second verse is now each of these four founders did choose a house for each, did value different virtues in the ones they had to teach. Bold Gryffindor, the bravest were priced far beyond the rest. For Ravenclaw, the cleverest would always be the best. For Hufflepuff, hard workers were far worthy of admission and power hungry Slytherin loved those of great ambition. While still alive, they did divide the favorites from the throng, but how to choose the worthy ones when they were dead and gone? Twas Gryffindor who found the way, he whipped me off his head. The founders put some brains in me so I could choose and say. So slip me snug around your ears, I've never yet been wrong. I'll have a look inside your mind and tell where you belong. Okay, I guess that was the Gryffindor in me.